Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. This is an addendum video to the Visual Micro setup video, the first tutorial for the Arduino, uh, the Visual Micro series. Uh, there was something I should have mentioned in the setup that I didn't, and I didn't notice it until now, so I, I apologize very much for not having caught this. I didn't catch it because it didn't show up in mine, in my version of Atmel Studio, and until I started to go through some setup for the next few videos, I didn't really see that it was kind of a necessary thing or it would have made a lot of things a lot easier for coming videos. And that is, if you open up an Arduino file and you go to your Solutions Explorer, if you don't see your Solution Explorer, very easy, just go to View and then click Solution Explorer or Control-Alt-L and that will open this and you click Clock or your um, project file, in this case Clock what should show up down here is the properties for your project file. If you don't see the properties, very easy, just go to view and the properties window, show up here. And what Visual Micro does is even if you don't have the full version or you're just running the trial version, you should see a whole bunch of extra things added for the debugger and a lot of global functions which can be accessed via the uh, tools, Visual Micro, or tools, options, Visual Micro general tab. Uh, a lot of these things make uh, a lot of these are a lot easier than having to go through that, uh, so it's a lot quicker and it will matter somewhat for the upcoming debugger videos. That's where I caught it. I didn't see this when I was trying to get that up and running. So, if you don't see this, it means that this is a somewhat natural happening. It happens when you go from one version of Visual Micro to the next. This will sometimes occur. If this doesn't show up and you want to add it, which you should, first thing you can do, this is the easy thing, is if you go to Tools, Visual Micro, you can reset the user interface, which will try and reset the Visual Micro plugin back to what it should be and in the hopes of bringing everything back, including that all the options to the Properties menu. If that doesn't work, as was the case for me, you will have to take more extreme measures and completely uninstall uh, Atmel or Visual Studio and then uninstall the Visual Micro plugin and then reinstall both. So hopefully it works when you just click the reset user interface. If not, it's more of a pain, but you're going to want uh, this. And there's a, yeah, you're going to want this menu. Uh, there's, you're going to want this menu. Makes a lot of things easier and again, it's kind of necessary for if, if you have the debugger, it makes a lot of things a lot easier. So again, very sorry I missed that. Apologies all around, and that's pretty much how you fix it. 